a typical day on set as a cinematographer is always different even in other departments as well but you usually get a call sheet with a call time uh, basically a call sheet is has all the information you're gonna know of where you're gonna shoot that day it has all the scenes that are gonna be shot like how many pages the location the parking when lunch is gonna be the weather it has all the information and like contact information if you get lost or something everything is there. So there's no excuse of not knowing upfront what's happening because everything is right there on that little piece of paper when they send you like right the day before work. So if it's an early call time, let's say uh, they said that it, we have to be there at 7 a.m. So typically you have to be there an hour before that so you can have breakfast, get yourself together, you know, like getting ready of the day's work, basically. And then after that, usually what it comes is there's a rehearsal. There's a private rehearsal with the director, and then there's a rehearsal with the department heads, which includes the cinematographer, you know, the key grip, and, and other uh, key players on set. And then after that, like, there's a marking rehearsal. So the, you know, the second assistant camera, puts marks on the floor to make sure where the, you know, the marks where the actors move around the scene. So that way, as a cinematographer, I know, oh, so she landed there, so I know I need to put a light there to make sure she looks good. So having, having those marks is like really helpful as a cinematographer because then you bring people who literally just stand in front of, of those marks and help shape, shape the light. So that way I have a conversation with the key grip and the gaffer and tell them like, okay, so this is the scene, this is where the actors move around, I need to put a light outside from the window. So like every, every scenario is gonna be different obviously because you don't know like if it's gonna be outside or indoor, but once you know, you give them direction to the gaffer, which is the head of lighting technician and he will give instructions to the electricians to set up the lights and then the grips will help shape that light either add diffusion to it or or put some color to it and help secure the lights of course and and then after that we have a camera rehearsal so we bring the camera and I have to let know my camera team that Okay, I need this lens for this scene. We're gonna be on a dolly right now, so you know, so prepare for that. You know, like if you're on a dolly, you gotta make sure like the they have the proper like technical stuff so they can mount it in. And so they have a camera rehearsal, which is great because now you see everything with light and the camera, and then you know what little like adjustments you have to do, which happens all the time. And then when you change the camera angle, it's the same thing, like, but it's just smaller adjustments. You, you know, you might just change the lens or you might change a little bit the lighting because it's a close up and you want to see more flattering of face of the actors. And then after that, you know, it's, it's, it's the same process repeatedly. And obviously there's, there's a lunch break, of course. <laughs> They're gonna feed you on set. And then after that, it's just, just the same thing. And then once, once the scenes that were you know, scheduled for that day are done, then you have to wrap the gear, which you know people think, oh, we're done shooting, it's over. No, it's not over. You have to secure the gear, either like loader in the truck, or if you're working on a stage, you can just leave it there. If, if you're working this next day on there, if you're moving, if you're shooting on a different location the next day, then you have to load everything. So it's like really uh, intense in that sense that you have to really move around and you know, and it's still expensive equipment, so you have to be careful, but you, you cannot be, you know, you gotta have that sense of ur urgency all the time. You really do your steps on a set. Like, I know I average like 15,000 steps or even more, just depending on the location we're shooting. And when I get home, I just wanna sleep. But sometimes as a cinematographer, your work doesn't end when you come home because there they might be uh, changing the script, which happens all the time. Like they change the script 
during the day of we're shooting. So there might be a change that the producer or the director needs to notify me so I can become prepared the next day and see what changes I need to do with the lighting setup or whatever it needs to be done. There is a life after set, so it's not just work. However, I do enjoy storytelling a lot. So even on my free time, I, you know, most of my friends are filmmakers as well. And we're just trying to create as much as things that we can, like, because we want to tell our stories. So I do on my free time, I do like meet with those people and we have a conversation of uh, future projects that we want to do. But I mean, I do get some time that I can relax and just, I, I enjoy sports a lot. So uh, I like to keep myself like active and it does help me like, you know, keep myself strong, uh, like on and off on a workspace. So I, I play a lot of tennis, I go hiking a lot, I bike.